Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Mr. Coder, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do missing subsequent sum. Question D from Code Force is about 941 division 2. So you're given two integers n and k, and you have to find a sequence a of non-negative integers that has at most 25 numbers that the following conditions hold. So there's no subsequence of a with a sum of k. And for all other for all other numbers that aren't k from one through n, there is a subsequence of a with a sum of b. So basically, a, a sequence of b is a subsequence of a if it can be obtained by the deletion of several possibly zero or all elements without changing the order. So that so that basically means that it's just a sum, and it doesn't have to be a continuous sum. It can be just like it can be one seven two. And it can be like, that can be a way to get 10. And also, it can be shown that under the given constraints, a solution will always exist. So basically, if we take a look at the sample inputs, so there's two, two. And then you can, you can get, you need to get all, in, all integers from 1 to n, which is 2 in this case. That's not k, which is 2. So how you do that, you just get the 1. And then it, no matter how many ways, there's only one way to add it up, and then you only get one, so that'll work. And if and if you have six one, then it, then you can just do two, three, four, five, six, and that would have all the sums. But of course, if this six just say was, I don't know, like ten to the sixth, then this wouldn't work, like printing out ten to the six numbers because it has to be at most twenty five. So then seven and then for eight eight, then you can just print out seven ones, which that of course isn't the optimal. I mean that of course like you can do better with that, but that is a solution. But but you you never really want to do it. You want a general case because there won't really have they won't really have any test cases that'll be that will let you be able to do this. And then nine three. Any anyone that doesn't have three, so one one, and then you won't be able to create three with those. And the ones greater than this number k, then it won't it will never interfere. So yeah. So, for what I did, I I took it up into different cases. So first, if I if k was one, then I decided just to or well first first of all, like for every test case, I created. Uh, I created all the powers of two from one to, uh, from one to 20. So that would be the two to the power of 20. And that would be 21 numbers. So then, yeah, because then, because then you could always, because if, the key, the, probably the most important observation is that you can, you, you can, like, if you have all the powers of two, then you can create every single number using them. So then how that helped, because if there wasn't K, then that would work. And then you could just need to change a few things so that there won't be a sum of K. That's basically what I did first. And then if K is one, then of course I can't print out one because one, because then one sums up to one. But then I can print out every other sum and then if if there is not, like I just printed out a whole bunch of numbers because I can have 25, but you really only need a couple of them because three and stuff, because those are like odd. So you can always like find a way to add it on. And then if K is not equal to one, then I want to check if K is a power of two. And in the meanwhile, I also get the index of, or get the num get the power that is, directly less than or equal to k so basically if i so for this case if it's a if it is a power of two then i just need i need to remove i can't have that power of two because otherwise that's a simple way of doing it and then because if it is a power of two then all the other previous powers of twos they'll add up to get every number before that so then i can just like print out all, all the numbers ahead of, like greater than k 
because any number greater than k won't contribute to summing up to k because it's too big and there's no negative numbers. So then I just printed out k plus 1, k plus 3, k plus 5, k plus 7, and k plus 1. And it, like if you, if you just tried it, it will work. And so, yeah. And then if it is, if it isn't a power of two, then I, I get the, I get the power and then I can, I will need to erase the power because that power is the one that contributes the most to getting to K because the sm smallest one, or it's the largest one that's smaller than K. So I have to remove that one, but I can also, but I can add the K minus P because then you'll, that'll be this, then that'll be the number that is, that if you sum up all the powers of two before that, and also this one, it won't be greater than, then it'll be one less than K. So it'll be able to get every single number before K. And then you can also insert K plus one and then K plus P plus one and K plus P plus three. And that's and that's because any number greater than k won't contribute to summing k, and then you also have to like erase it again. And then, yeah, I just printed out. So yeah, that's basically how I solved a uh, missing subsequent sum. Uh, yeah, that's how I solved missing subsequent sum. And when I test out the sample input, then even if they don't match, it still is a valid. It still is valid, and it still works. And I will know that there are definitely more efficient ways of doing it. Like you, you, you don't have to print out all these numbers, but but to be safe, you can always just print out twenty five numbers, and then, and the key thing to notice is you might have noticed that I didn't use n anywhere, and that that's because you can always go, like for example, like even if it's two two, since you never add that many numbers. So you can always just assume that like it will be the greatest possible. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. That's how you solve missing subsequence sum. Question D from Code Forces Round 941 Division 2. So yeah, if you like this video, then please go to the community where I have a poll. And in the poll, it, it'll help me decide on what videos to do, what more videos to do besides Code Forces Solutions. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.